Hey guys, I am back. I am doing another video. This time I said I'm going to do a drawing. So, first you want to do the sketch draw. I'm doing an apple. I like apples, so why not do an apple? Um, I drew an apple. Um, I used... I am using this kind of pencil. Um, it's a Kimberly um, 4H... 4H pencil, so, and then blending stump, my regular mechanical pencil, 0.7 mechanical pencil, um, um, some kneading eraser, um, pigment liner, one, um, 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 0.1. I'm use, I'm gonna end up using a textile marker with this end mostly with so these are expensive but and then some regular uni ball pens I got a blue one and I got a red one so oh you mean and, orange yeah and orange too orange and that's my little say hi what say hi no <laughs> no all right so. And then this is my um, blending pencil. So when I do color pencil, it's color. It's a colorless blender. So when I do color pencil, it's kind of like wax. I'll put it on and I'll just do over it like that. So right now I'm doing the shading for the shadow for the not the shadow but the mirror image of the apple. So yeah. So I'm just going over it lightly with this end for the fatter end, and then I'll do the skinny end. So fatter end, I'll go over like that. Um, I'll go over it. Then I'll switch because this end has more of a tip on it. So I'll go like this, and I'll just go over it lightly for the back since the light's coming in from this direction. Actually, it's coming this and then going that way. So it's going this way. And then it's also coming from here. Um, so, I'm also doing it that way. So, yeah. So, I just do it. I do it a little bit longer here. Um, to the top. And then down yeah. on the bottom. Down on the bottom. I know. And then down on the bottom, I do it not as long. So, I go like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. And then I'll do it like that. Now, top, I'll do it longer since it's darker, so I'm going to need to go over this part. And I did the cross section this way, but since I'm facing this way, it may, it may seem a little bit weird. So, let me turn this down. There we go. So, right here is where it's light. I'm, I'm gonna, I need to get that darker, so I go over it. I'm going like close to the top because it gets me more. It makes it easier um, to. I don't know. It makes it easy. It makes it lighter. So the closer I go, the harder it is. Like that, and I don't want that. So I go over it like that. Um, I, I go over it like that. Um, like yeah. So. I'll do that, and I'll take the shading or the blending stump. Get the skinnier side. I'll just go over it the same way this way, and then you'll see it start to come together eventually. So I'll just go like that, um, and yeah. So just keep on doing that. Um, and it'll start to take its shape, or take its shade, actually. I'll say it that way. Um, you can also use your finger if that works for you. Um, for this kind of pencil, it doesn't, but with my regular one, it does. So this one I'll use for, um, this one I'll use for just regular, um, stuff. So, I'll use this one 
for just my regular um, outline. Um, so then I'll use that for my regular outline to make. That's what I did for here, because it's darker. So come is light. I'm gonna do this. It's hard to explain, but light comes in here. Do you see that? No. Here. The light is coming in from there, and then also from there. So it'll go down. And then that's what this is. It'll be shiny, so it'll be curved, so it's shiny. So I want to make my lines like that. So I want to make it um, a curve. Because I don't want to just go like this and just shake. So that makes it... See how the apples... See how this is here? That's what I use like to guide. So I'll use that guide in this. Also use that as a guide. Because um, the, shiny, the shiniest part is going to be right there. Right there. And so as the light's coming in, it shines off. That's where the glare is going to be. And then it's going to start getting a little bit darker here. Down here. So it'll glare. It's kind of coming actually up here. So I'm going to do that from up there. It goes up, and then it starts coming down. So if, if when, you, when I started out, I started out doing the arrows. Um, it just made it easier for me. So, yeah. <coughs> so I gotta do a little bit more in the middle since it's too light. So just like that, and. And I'll take this pencil the, for so this. The closer, the closer it is, um, the harder the lead's gonna be. So I'm, I have it out farther, like out here. So then when I press down, it has a bend to it, so it makes it easier to do it. So the farther I press out, the more bend there is. See how there's bend. Too much, too hard, and it's gonna snap, and then I'll waste lead. So you gotta be cautious about where you're, how you're doing it. So yeah. I'll use this, and I'll just do it lightly, like that. So and I'll do it like that. And then I'll take my kneading eraser. And I'll go like this over it, and then I'll go back over it like that. So then, it's like that. Um, so, so then it'll look like that. Um, um, and I'll, I'm going to go back to that because that, that'll take me a while to do. So, time for this side. So, um, where I put that thing? So, I go over it more. So, I'll go over it more. Um, like that. And I'll just keep on continuing until I get the right, until I get the, um, the right amount of shade that I want. Um, so I will do that, and then I'm gonna. This is gonna be darker down here, so it's gonna be darker, and then light, dark, and then light, dark, and light. Help. And then it'll look like it'll look like that. So. And I'll open it up, open it up like that, take it through, open it, open and through, open and through. So, Just keep opening it. Um, and then, yeah, let's go like that. See, I'm just turning to take a little bit of shape, and I'll go over and I'll refine it. Like, I'll go over and I'll make this line darker, <coughs> so. 
Okay. The lead smaller. I'll go over like that. And eventually I'll go over with my with the with the thin um, tipped marker um, and use that um, just lightly. So it look like that. I can go over this to make it even with the <coughs> even with the light. So and then I make the leg longer. Might be about there. See how there's. I like, the thing I like is there's like that. That's what'll happen, and you don't want that. That was too much, so I want it about there. So I want it about there. I start. I go like that, and I get this. So. So dark and then light. 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 Dark and then you want it light, light, lighter, light, and then I'm gonna make it light as possible. So I'm gonna switch over. So I'm gonna switch over to this and fill it in. See how it's getting. And then I'll go over it with this to smooth it to blend it together. Dark, so it's dark and light. Dark and light, dark. It's a little bit too dark. And then I'll go over it. Like that. Dark and light. Darker than light. Light, 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 light. And then more so that then carry, you want to carry it you want to carry it over and out over and out over and up over so up and out up and around Up and out, so just like that. So go over it a little bit to make it darker. So that will sum up that part for right now. So that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So um, don't forget, this is part one. So I'm going to call this Apple Apple um, Drawing Part 1. Um, it's going to be maybe, I'm going to try to do three parts maybe. 
So don't forget to subscribe and comment um, about comment some more ideas that you have in the future. So as always, peace out.